Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Cradle, exactly where we left off because I started another episode right after finishing the last one. So we're going to go run this breath module all the way back to Ida, and we're going to do it without losing to the ghost monsters. But first we're going to go down the big slide. Wee big slide! Okay, well... That worked. Where's this... The smoke monsters. Okay. I don't see them. I don't know whether this would be useful, but they were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. But how they did it, or why, that I do not remember. Okay, well, apparently. Some people were like, the virus is good! Let's keep the virus! And those people are stupid. You shouldn't keep the virus. So, since I can't climb back over the fence, we're gonna power our way through it. Nee, 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 nee. There was a smoke monster on his way to eat me. Boom! Yes! I'm amazing! I can't really steer this thing. Um, stop. Uh, connect the breathing module to Ida. Ida. We're gonna call her Ida. Okay. Well, we just let the smoke monsters out. See, they they can pass through the fence, but they didn't know they could get out because of magic. And now they know they can get out, and then, then we're gonna have to run away from them. Told you there are monsters in this game. I'm just smarter than them. All right. Um, frame rate's chuggy. Are we back? We're back. Great. Let's go poke Ida in the chest. Well, we're gonna we're gonna pull her chest off. Then, then we're gonna put some stuff in it. Hey, Ida. Did you bring the module? Yes. Yes. How do I install it? There should be a pipe inside the chest. A trachea. The air passes through it, so. You need to connect the module to it somehow. All right. No problem. Just let me pull your 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 breasticles off. Thanks. That's great. I can see the pipe. How are you feeling? Are you comfortable with your chest exposed like this? I sure hope so. I'm a professional. Don't worry about me just standing here staring at you. It's because what, that's what professionals do. We just stare. Professionally. Professionals. Yep. I've, I've got you open. I like your nail polish. That's pretty. Let's put the chest piece in. Boop! You can breathe now. How does that feel? Don't mention, Don't mention it. it! I forgot to put your Finally, boobs back on. Breathing. You're welcome. How goes your search? How goes your search? Did you find the password? Not yet. But I did remember a bit about myself. I used to work here at the Gerbera Garden as a teacher, I think. I remember kids being brought here to watch a show. They would then play in the pavilions, carry body parts from there, and pile them up by the stage for some reason. What an odd amusement park to build. Strange indeed. Strange indeed that it was built here. There's something I don't understand. You said it was abandoned, but it's still operating. It's got power. Why wasn't it taken down? There was an explosion. It's full of some poison. Do you remember anything about that? Um... I think I know what it was that exploded there. Disparatoxin. What's that? That's... the substance from which the virus came into being. The epidemic began after one such explosion. One? You mean there were other explosions? Several hundred. All across the globe. Terrorists! There were terrorists! And America failed to stop them! I'm sorry, world. I'm sorry. Who carried out the explosions? Remember I was telling you about the outsiders? The explosions were their handiwork. Were they terrorists? What was their goal? No goal to speak of. They weren't even doing it on purpose, really. Simply, sometimes their passium capsules would explode in their chests, spontaneously. The emotions generated substance was the cause. What was wrong with it? It had a dangerous component, 
Bitter Passium. It's a kind of dark liquid which may suddenly turn poisonous and explode. Those people were carrying a bomb in their chests. It wasn't their intention to massacre thousands of people and strip the entire race of the ability to procreate, but that's what happened. But how are they different from the others? Genetic defects. The more defects in the DNA, the more bitter the passing becomes. Outsiders were at once pitied and feared. Nobody wanted to live next to a time bomb. Many outsiders left their hometowns. They didn't want to cause anyone trouble. Am I an outsider? So that's why they were called outsiders. They were called all sorts of things, including lower class and ugly people. I still remember the slogan. Protect society from the emotions of ugly people. Wow, that's just... Still... What an unexpected problem for society. But not the only problem. Living in an M-body requires fuel, and fuel can only be obtained in exchange for sweet passium. Provided you have it, which the outsiders did not. They were unwitting spongers. <laughs> spongers. What is sweet passium? That's the valuable substance produced by beautiful people. I told you about it. In reality, sweet and bitter passium are two parts of the same substance. Everybody produces both components with their emotions, only in different proportions. People with purer DNA end up with more of the sweet stuff and less of the bitter, and vice versa for the outsiders. Beautiful people are therefore valuable, whereas ugly people are dangerous. Wow. You know, the world's heart hates uggos. So where did the outsiders get the means to live? They were issued poor heredity assistance from the public rescue fund. The fund was founded and sustained by a special tax that was levied on all the citizens. First and foremost, on the beautiful elite. A lion's share of the reserves went towards supporting ugly people. Thus, they became a constant headache. Not only spreading the virus, but also draining the rescue fund. Those ugly, poisonous spongers. <laughs> it was their emotions that were poisonous. Uglies are dangerous merely by living and feeling, in that they deprive the rest of any hope of returning to the way things were. I remember all the heated debates, the frantic search for a solution. That was terrible. And did they find it? Yes, I think so. The committee proposed a hibernation program, putting the uglies to sleep. Put them uggos to sleep till we can get them to surgeries. Come again? What kind of sleep? Deactivation. A voluntary shutdown, a temporary one, until the virus is destroyed. And many of them agreed, realizing it was the best option they had. I don't know whether it helped or... Hold on. D okay, so I think we didn't put them voluntarily to temporary sleep. I think we euthanized those ugly people. What? The password. I think I got the right one. Yes, I'm in. I see the files trying to find info on the employees. It should have my data as well. You've got strange eyesight. What? Why is that? Well, that, that was just stupid. You see virtual files. I wouldn't refuse regular eyesight either. It's all dark, but I can't figure out what's broken. Well, you know, that's nice of you to point out. Your face is broken! The screen on your face. It's broken. It's called a look screen. And yes, it's damaged. Might there be a working one at the Gabara Garden? There probably is, but it won't recover my sight. Something is up with my lens, and the garden wouldn't have those. Nor do I know where to find them. I suppose I'll look for a lens then. Where? In the field? There's nobody around. Haha, uh -huh. good what timing. That? that, my friends, is a plot point. I don't know. I'll go check it out. Zoom in on her pretty face! She has a pretty face. It's very pleasing. She is not one of the Uggets. Look! The bus has arrived! Hello, bus! Is your name Gus? Are you Gus the bus? Stop ringing the bell. I'm on my way. Me, the hero! Oh, there really is a person there! Hello, person! Hi! How do you live? being so ugly. 
Oh, you're you're pretending to have a nose. You don't have a nose. Well, where'd you disappear to? Listen, I found out how much they're paying. It's good money. Very good, actually. I'm going tomorrow. The procedure is simple. No pain and almost no damage. Sure, your brain is a little worse for wear while their patient recovers, but a job's a job, right? I might even quit the whole flower collecting business. But all that's still just castles in the sky. In the meantime, we've got vital copies to sell. I got an order for you, so listen up. Two red, 70 at the least, one orange. Um... What, what are you talking about, weird Sorry. man? I don't know what that means. Who are you? Anibish, I ain't got time to spare, so why are you wasting it? Tabaha is gonna get fired. I don't want to go back to getting shut down for 20 days in a month span. Tabaha? I lost my memory, Tabaha. What are Fido copies? If this is a joke, it's a real dumb one. Tell me what they Tell are. Tell me what Fido copies are, and why we sell them. Cut the crap. What do you mean, why sell them? Because people buy them. HQ goods are valuable. Somebody beautiful can license a copy of their DNA and sell it, which can then be used to make all sorts of stuff. Androids, flower vases, like the one on your table. As for you and I, we digitize flowers, make them into Fido copies and sell them. Understand? People like seeing a high number on the display. Beautiful things are always valued. Such a shallow society. Fine, Tabaha. So, you want me to pick some flowers? No, damn it, not pick some flowers. If you go and pick the first flowers you see, feel free to stuff them right up your nostrils. Oh. Who's gonna buy those? What I need is the prettiest flowers you can find. The one on my desk is very pretty. Click it. I'm not really an expert on aesthetics. Amazingly, today you're even weirder than usual. Look, we take the genome. Go up to the flowers and measure their beauty. I need two red gaberas with a 70 HQ or higher, no lower. One orange, 80 or higher, and one yellow, 90 or higher. Make sure to measure only fully open flowers, else the phytocopier will jam up and cleaning it is a pain. Aim at the center of the flower, lest it close up before you're done measuring. Once picked, digitize it with the phytocopier, then pack everything. Pack into what? Same as always, into a box of covers. All right, that sounds doable. It does? I'll really? I'll be back in three hours. What do you want for the job? You want me to bring back food? I need a lens. I need a lens. And that was or really loud. In body. A lens won't help that vase of yours. It was already barely functioning when your late grandfather bought it up in buying Hangor. Ain't nothing you can do. It's a cheap, pirated copy. Let it go. It's been gathering dust for years, so let it. But I don't really want to, um, to let it go. Bring, bring me, me the lens, lens Baha. Fine, I'll bring it. But I want you to know that you're slowly losing your marbles out here. You should move to the city. You should move to the city! I'll be sure to do that. Just one more question. Shoot. What is that number on your chest? What does it mean? Ha! <laughs> Good one. Seriously, I didn't see it coming. All right, I'm off. Tons to do and the weather is getting nasty. Get yourself a hat. Yeah, you look weird without one. A warm one, made of fur. Know what I'm talking about? Don't, don't go, I'm still talking shit to you. I'm telling you how ugly you are. That's pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Bye. Bye. Okay. So now we have to go poke flowers with our... Uh, thing. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm a scientist now. A botanist. Studying flowers with my photocopier. <laughs> because the world hates ugly things, we will find the pretty things and sell them. Um, so about the so, lens. About the lens. I didn't put I your breast back on. I heard your conversation. A lens in exchange for flowers. He's an odd old man. Fussy in matters of beauty. Don't forget to take the device he mentioned with you. 
Genometer? I don't even know what that is. I do! If I understood correctly, that's the heredity gauge. You can use it to find flowers with the purest DNA. Very well. I'll figure it out. Okay, let's put your, your chest back on because I just zoomed in and that was that was uncomfortable. That's the thing I need. There we go. There's the genometer. Oh, no, no, no. Put that in the inventory. Thank you. Okay, um, let's go check flowers. All right. Are you a flower? <laughs> I clicked and then I just dropped it. I don't know if that's what I need. Oh, I keep right clicking thinking that that's the put it away button, but it's not. Like, are these the flowers that I'm supposed to check? Ready. Not ready. Alright, so that's not how that works. I don't know if that's the thing I need. Pretty sure the flowers are gonna be over here in the sad people death place. Yeah. Yeah, there they are. Over here with the smoke monsters. Alright, let's scope out the area. See if we can see them. The birds are very happy. They're very comfortable with the evil smoke monsters. There's my ride that I used to get out of that park. The number on the chest is a personal heredity quotient. Everybody's got one, yourself included. It represents the degree of purity of your DNA. In other words, it's your value to society. Wow, that's pretty messed up. And also, I didn't think I was a robot. I don't feel like a robot, but I'm a robot! Oh, uh, wait, what? The bud is not fully open. Can't use flowers like this. How much more open does it get? Full duty! Okay. Is that one fully open? No. Not according to my weird ass standards. Huh? What? Right, well, none of those are fully open, so I imagine there's like one fully open red one somewhere. Maybe over here? So if those are partially open, what the hell does a fully open one look like? It's not fully open, can't use flowers like this one. Really? Why do I not believe you, friend? Um... Okie doke. I don't like having this thing out because it slows me down. Not fully open. Hmm. Well, we're now into the orange ones. Look at the fields of orange ones that I'm in. La 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 la. Pretty, pretty flowers. La 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 la. Nothing can harm me when I'm with my flowers. Okay, so that's where all the red ones are. So one of those has to be the one that I need. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was a bird. Okay. This is like shadow monsters can fly higher than my face. No! Okay, so let's see if we can find a fully open one of these. It's not fully open. Can't use one of these. Eh... Uh, nope. Well, I don't understand. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no, no, oh, no, close up. That's an 85. It'll open again if I wait. I need to aim better next time. What? You need to aim better next time. Is that one fully open? No. So it's just this one. That I pissed off. Well, open!
Wow, I just ruined that flower by scanning it. Why is this scan so invasive? So I've got to aim it right in the dead center. A 33! Well, you're useless, flower! Let's check your brother right over here. A 91! I need that one! I'll have that. So that was the yellow. Okay, I'm just gonna take that one apparently. <laughs> I don't know what quality it is, but I took it. And a 95. Oh, no, give me. Give it. What? Oh. Smug monster. Run! Fly, you fool. Okay. Right, what did I need? Oh, uh, one yellow, 90% or higher. So I can keep this last one. Drop you. Could drop you. 90% or higher, uh, two red Gerbers, 70, and one orange, 80. Alright. So you're flat like these. Thirty-three. You're junk. You're ugly and nobody loves you. Oh, broke it. Is that one gonna open back up? Nope. Take that out. Thirty-three? What is this junk? I need better stock. Holy crap. The smoke monster blew up and I don't know why. Uh... Uh, does anybody know why that happened? I, I'm just here for the flowers, man. Just the pretty ones. Uh, uh. Yeah, well, this one's open again. Let's try this one. It's terrible. This is all these trash flowers. Don't we have pretty flowers around here? These are all ugly. Seventeen. Stop laughing at me, birds. It's not my fault that these flowers are all trash. Trash, trash, trash. Eh. No. Come on. Forty-six. Or not. Couldn't tell. Aim better next time. Seventy-two! Wait, I need an eighty, don't I? Unless there's one out here in the fields that are open. Let's check. I hear it. I hear it. Oh, there it is. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. New. New. We're just gonna go over here to the red ones. And look for flat ones. This walking, it sounds like it's behind me and so it freaks me out. That one's not gonna work. Apparently this is a dangerous job. I never knew getting flowers was so dangerous. Florists, you guys have a hard job. Nineteen trash flower. Damn it. Eighty five. Holy crap. I'll take that one. Yeah, we need one more of those. And then we are done. Well, with the red ones. I gotta find an orange one. Um. No. I heard it. I heard it. Stay away. 
Let me get the flower I need. Oh. I just want to pick some flowers. I just want to pick them, yes. Twenty. Trash flower. Eighty nine. Heck yeah. Oh, there we go. There's a ninety five. Sweet. Toss that trash flower away, and we got our ninety five right there. Let's head back to the yurt. Hi. I'm gonna shut the door. So I don't want one of those smoke monsters thinking it can just come in here. Alright, um, let me put the orange one in because it was the hardest one to get. Copy! It's literally a photocopier! Alright, look at that! Um, yeah! Shit! That works. Ah, oh, see, it knows the lid's open. You can't copy your butt in this one. Not that you'd want to, because I'm pretty sure if you copied your butt, it would it would be put in glass. Yeah, let's not put our butt in glass. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe if you have a really pretty butt. Like, everybody would want your button glass? They'd be like, oh man, I can't wait to get a copy of his butt in my glasses. That'll be the best. This is a weird society we live in. Okay. I gotta fit that in my inventory. We're gonna go a little bit longer on the... Um episode here while I run off and deliver this package. Like, do I just... I'm pretty sure I just go over here. Uh, which question is that? Do I want pickup service? The answer is yes. Okay. Well, that's not what I wanted. Uh, speak with I Ida. Oh, well, shit. I'm all like, let's mail this off and get our secret decoder ring. And they're like, no, you need to speak with the lady who can make the call, who can tell you what to do. Okay. Ida! I made flowers, Ida! She has a 74. You know, I was thinking... Uh, yep. I can ask Tabaha to help you with the evacuation. No, Anabish. That's a bad idea. Why? Until I've checked the number of my neurocopy, nobody must know about me. Why? Why is that number so important? Because I'm not sure of my authenticity. We don't know where my neurochip was before making its way to you. If I'm a duplicate, then I'll simply be arrested at the first registration. Well, all right. It's your call. Like, I mean, it is her call. It's her body. So, let's check your number. Nothing on that front either. I found a list of the amusement park's employees, but for some reason my name isn't on it. But I'm sure I used to work here. I need more particulars about the park, anything at all. My memories are fragmented and don't tell me anything. But you remembered something, yes? Tell me. Well, I remember that all kids would undergo a transfer after the show. I don't know why. Undergo a what? A mirror transfer. That's what the procedure of transferring consciousness into a mechanical body is called. Meaning, the kids would leave the Gerbera Garden in M bodies. Strange, isn't it? Doing a transfer at an amusement park. Yes. Strange is the word. Like bird. And another thing. Their age. These kids were really young, around five, six at the most. What's odd about their age? They were way too young for a transfer. Little kids don't get their bodies replaced, but they did here, for whatever reason. And I played some kind of role in it. Only I don't remember what it was. Maybe you'll remember more once your sight is back. Maybe. If Tabaha makes good on his promise. And if there's a functioning look screen in the park. Tell me more about this device. The look screen. Do you mean its purpose? Yes. How does this screen provide sight? The look screen doesn't provide sight. 
Rather, it displays an image of Aris. I think it's used in a transfer somehow, but I don't recall exactly how. I'll try to remember while you're out. I'm on my way. Which pavilion should I look in? The second. And don't forget... Don't forget what? The box with the phytocopies. See you later. I've got those. Thank you, though. It's in my inventory. They're in my pants. Yeah, the game was saved. All right, let's let's go see if he'll show up. Uh, head to the Grim Garden, search the second pavilion. Oh, well, they want me to just to search the second pavilion. We're gonna have to do that in the next episode. Um, it just gets stranger and stranger. This game, very strange. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I certainly am. I have no idea what's going on, but I can't wait to find out. And yeah, if you guys are enjoying it, click the like button. If you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, fill it in the comment section below. But please avoid the spoilers. Let's keep the story fresh for everybody. And if you haven't subscribed, click that good old subscribe button. And YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. But only click it if you enjoy it. Because if you don't want to watch my content, that's just fine. But if you do, click the subscribe button. And now I'm rambling. Great. All that being said, I'll see you awesome people next time. You're still a big jerky jerk. I think you know that. I think you wanted to, to make amends by showing me where I was missing one. And I appreciate that. Oh, oh that one's gone. Because I'm bad at controlling this game.